Hello again, Struck Club. It is that time of the month where I make my monthly Struck List videos dedicated to upcoming games. And for the June 2024 upcoming 2D WoW profile games or underdog games, uh, I have selected 13 titles. In the month of June, there's a lot of uh, games coming out, uh, but um, there are also a few games that slipped under my radar. Uh, when it comes to releases for May, for last month. And the first three games are such games. Three games that, um, for one reason or another, maybe their release date wasn't set in stone when I was researching for last month, but I will start with those three games, and eventually after that it will be um, um, games in June. As always, it will be based in chronological order of release date, so it's not top one, top two, top three, just this game releases first, then it's that one, and so on. As usual. What else should we say? And the thing that all those games have in common is that they are all 2D. It could be 2D cartoony, 2D pixel art. Um, one way or another, there is some um, two dimensional theme of the games. As I mentioned, 13 titles. Um, and some of them are very deep indie. So deep in the indie that uh, they don't even have social media presence. And some of them, not all. And um, the only trailer I could find for some of those games was the one on Steam. Regardless of that, I've done my best to include um, all sorts of information. Check the description for Steam links and other uh, store links. Book up, Struck up. I hope you enjoy my selection for the month of June regarding 2D WoW profile games. And let's go. First on the list is a game called Isles of Sea and Sky. A fantastic oceanic open world puzzle adventure. So innovative block puzzles while unearthing a mystery, mysterious, mystifying story. Gaining new friends that change the puzzle landscape and unlocking powers that provide more options for how you choose to progress through the enigmatic Isles of Sea and Sky. What is um, interesting is on Steam comments, some people have mentioned that some of the puzzles are very confusing in the way that they don't tell you that you cannot solve that puzzle yet. You would need to come back later to it. Nothing new under the sun, but the game is just not making it very clear and you might get frustrated wasting time on a puzzle that uh, you realize eventually you can't solve. The game's coming out on the 22nd of May 2024, which means it's already released as I'm making this video. Currently, uh, up until the 5th of June, 10% off for 1755 euro on Steam from the original 1950 something. Developed by Cicada Games, uh, published by Cicada Games and Gamera Games. Yeah, it's a beautiful looking pixel art, um, I'm digging it. Uh, I'm not a fan of puzzles and uh, all that bullshit, but uh, if you are into those types of games, then uh, Isles of Sea and Sky um, is something that you might want to check out for yourself. Next up, we have some very retro vibes game called Scout. Uh, S-K-A-L-D against the Black Priory. Scout against the Black Priory is a retro-style party-based RPG set in a grim dark fantasy world of tragic heroes, violent deaths and Lovecraftian horror. Um, what else do we do there? Take a chance and roll the dice as you embark on a compelling story field um, with deadly creatures, branching story and tactical turn-based combat. Developed by uh, High North Studios AS, releasing on the 30th of May 2024, published by Raw Fury. There is a free demo on Steam uh, and the game will also be on GOG. Next up is Tabletop Hero. Developed and self-published by Kumpo, releasing on the 31st of May 2024. There is a free downloadable demo on Steam and the game, as far as I could find information, will only be releasing on Steam. It is a rogue-like deck-building game, with a variety of heroes and classes, hundreds of cards and treasures, and a rich array of, gen of genres to explore. There's plenty to discover. Additionally, card enhancements and fusion mechanics help you build a stronger deck. So if you're into the recently very popular genre the last few years, a rogue-like deck builder, uh, with 2D graphics, cute nice animations uh, and special effects, um, then Tabletop Hero by Kun Pu might be something you want to keep an eye out for. Definitely try the demo while you can, and um, on the 31st of May 2024, if they don't overprice it, I can see um, this game 
um, keeping people busy for hours and hours um, every now and then. Next up is a game that I told you back in December about, but the release date from December got pushed to June. O of Myth is a CCG that will take you to the dark universe of horrors created by H.P. Lovecraft. Find your own strategy, crush your foes with brute force, or turn them insane. Take the side of the unspeakable horrors of defenders. Um, sorry, pardon me. Take the side of the unspeakable horrors or defenders of humanity. Choose your own path. So, do you want to be the good guy? Do you want to be the bad guy? The game lets you uh, choose for yourself. It's releasing on the 1st of June 2024, developed and self-published by Kadat Studio. There is a free downloadable demo on Steam that I strongly recommend trying out if this seems like your kind of game. So yeah, top-down card battle um, with RPG and strategy elements. If it's uh, something that you want, but in the HP Lovecraft inspired universe that is Co of Myth, check it out, play the demo and decide for yourself whether um, on June 1st, 2024, when it launches, you would want to get it. Obviously, they shouldn't overprice this game, hopefully. Next up is Beat in Zero, a game releasing on the 6th of June 2024. Uh, developed by Monaka Games, self-published by Monaka Games. Another card battle with turn-based tactics and roguelite mechanics. Your choices will determine your destiny. The deck building RPG Beat in Zero is a game where you choose one of three characters and go on a quest to find the Zero card lying at the bottom of the floor. Randomly generated events and cards take you on a different adventure each time. Looks cool, looks nice. I'm digging the art style and the mixture um, of um, the, the 2D uh, drawings and the animated 2D um, enemies and the nice special effects. So yeah, if you're into turn-based tactics, um, card battling, um, deck building, uh, and the roguelite mechanic, there's another title that you might like. I think there's a reasonable interesting itemization other than just the cards, um, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just uh, me mistakenly um, getting confused by screenshots in the trailer. Uh, regardless of that, beating Zero on the 6th of June 2024, should be fun to play, should be fun to try if you're into that genre of games. Next up, Dinner Defenders. And Dinner Defenders, not the SpongeBob Dinner Defenders game, but um, a Dinner Defenders kind of Vampire Survivors-ish um, uh, game. Roguelite, Bullet Heaven kind of uh, game. Dinner Defenders is uh, releasing on the 12th of June 2024, developed and published by Rayma Project. Uh, it's interesting fact that the developer of this game is um, currently undergoing a project where they are uh, releasing one game every two months with uh, minimum development but still enough polish. I'm trying to make small games but impactful games and Dinner Defender seems to be one such game. Protect your campfire, cooking in dinner, um, Defenders roguelike tower defense game. Summon units and utilize combinations of their skills and synergies to fend off the hungry goblins and orcs. Survive and finally have your well-deserved meal in the middle of the forest. Next up is Walking Hell. Walking Hell is a game releasing on the 13th of June um, 2024. So 1-3-13 June 2024 developed by Sanuk Games, published, self-published by the same studio. The gates of hell have opened. Whack all the monsters before they whack you. Collect their souls, ramp up your weapons and your spells, and become a slaughtering machine in this frantic roguelite top-down 2D shooter. Yes, there are so many roguelites uh, releasing this month. If you look at my other high-profile and 3D wall-profile games video and combine it with this, you see there's probably more than 10 roguelite games I've included uh, across those. Um, three videos. And yes, Walking Hell seems fun. Uh, I hope they don't overprice it, um, but if you're into those bullet heavens, uh, reverse bullet hell or whatever you want to call it, horde survival games, Walking Hell is one that you definitely should keep up on your uh, wish list. Next is Jrago or J Rago, um, Two Guardians of Eden. Other than the cringe uh, posters, um, the game looks fun. It has a cringe trailer, but uh, I try to include the, the good parts of it. 
Gameplay wise, the game seems fun. Metroidvania 2D side scrolling pixel art game with demons and most of all multiplayer co op. Co op multiplayer in a Metroidvania style 2D platforming uh, action adventure role playing game. Um, definitely something uh, many of you out there might enjoy. Um, check the demo. Check the free demo out on Steam right now. Uh, because it uh, definitely seems uh, if you're into those types of games, you love it. Um, the Darkness has once again returned and this time Zhrago teams up uh, with his fellow guardians as they slay the evil demons and bring back the light. Releasing on the 18th of June 2024, developed and self-published by Zhrago Studios. Um, if you're into this kind of game, check it out. Don't miss out um, on it once it's um, released. Next up on the list is Tradesman, Deal to Dealer, an early access title coming out as an early access release on the 18th of June 2024. Travel, buy, sell, protect, fight, two quests. That's the stuff you might expect to do in this game, as the developers uh, are telling us on Steam. Developed and self-published by Azamatica, which if I'm not mistaken is a solo developer, releasing on the 18th of June, 18th, um, 18th of June 2024. There is a free downloadable demo you can check on Steam, I strongly recommend trying it. Um, there's exploration, there's comedy, um, it's 2D pixel art, there's auto battler mechanics, uh, there's side-scrolling mechanics, medieval fantasy tactical combat. Um, it's pretty, pretty cool. There's an open world as well to explore. So if it looks like your kind of game, if you're liking what you're seeing on the trailer footage um, and you believe that uh, it might be something you would enjoy, I think if they don't overprice the game, many people would want to give it a try when it's out on the 18th of June 2024. Next up is Leather Lancers or Leather Wancers, depending on the accent. Um, a four player couch co op roguelite bullet hell that will have you and your friends laughing your way through epic battles. Grab your friends, pick your characters, and get ready to ruin someone's day. Level up. Select from hundreds of modifiers, get loot, and earn your place on the leaderboard. The early access of this game starts on the 19th of June 2024, 1-9-19, um, developed by Wet Coat Games and self-published by Wet Coat Games. It's an early access title, but um, check the demo out before you get it if you're interested. Next up is a game called Viking Survivors, and as the name suggests, it's a reverse bullet hell or bullet heaven um, with Vikings. Kind of like Vampire Survivors, uh, Survivors, but with Vikings. So, um, releasing on the 19th of June 2024 as a full release, um, the game is developed by Family Deaths and self-published by Family Deaths. There is a free downloadable demo on Steam, I strongly recommend you try. If interested, and uh, a little bit about the game, embark on an epic journey through the realms of Viking Survivors, a heart pounding action roguelite that pits you against relentless hordes of monstrous foes. Unleash the true powers of a Viking warrior as you slay enemies, learn potent skills, and forge your own path to victory. There's three different um, game modes there's the standard one, there's the endless one, and then there is a more of a roguelite um, um, traditional roguelite one. The next game is called Fantasy Village Simulator, and as the name suggests, um, um, you have a fantasy village um, um, that you're controlling. Base building is involved, strategic base building uh, is part of the game. There's also roguelite elements and simulation elements. There is a free downloadable demo you can try, and keep in mind the release date might be just a placeholder. It is saying June 2024 doesn't say which June 2024 it's just saying June 2024 so uh, it may be June but it may not be June and um, the date might change check the demo out though um, the demo is already available and um, experience building uh, your own village with different races in a fantasy world produce more villagers uh, for various production tasks and train more guards to resist waves of demonic attacks plan the production of supplies to create more powerful equipment for the guards to wear and at the end of this video, we have a very interesting title. Imagine if Factorio or Statisfactory, uh, if Statisfactory uh, met with uh, Willy Wonka and created a chocolate factory. 
Well, that's it. Chocolate Factory is one such game. You have your own Willy Wonka style Chocolate Factory that you can manage uh, in the style and tradition of Status Factory, the game. Build your, dream build your dream chocolate factory among candy cane forests and gumdrop hills to produce the tastiest sweets. A delicious first-person factory automation game with a little exploration and combat. Confectionary conveyor belts uh, heaven awaits. Um, developed by TBJBU2. Self-published by the same person. Releasing... Uh, again, this is a placeholder date. It says June 2024. It doesn't say which June and it may not be June. It may just uh, end up getting changed soon. But um, keep it on your radar. There is a Pro Walk, which is kind of like a demo, but uh, as a separate Steam page. Kind of a free demo. So you might want to check out the Chocolate Factory Pro Walk if you're interested to keep you busy. Um, uh, and to, to experiment with, with some of the stuff that's available in it until we have a fixed release date and Chocolate Factory actually comes out um, and we are able to play and try it for ourselves. To get notified when I upload more content like this one or other builds and guides for water and not so water games, you can subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to not miss out on notifications. As well as uh, keep in mind there's something called memberships on YouTube which lets you be a paying member for my channel to get access to perks such as emotes and badges made by me. As well as the option to get one-on-one uh, -on -one tutoring for the very basics of Adobe Photoshop, Premiere and After Effects. And memberships can be cancelled at any time if you no longer want to be a member. Uh, thanks for watching all the way until the end struck up. Keep it cool until next time and goodbye.